Hey, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to be making a scotch yoke, which is also known as a slotted link mechanism. It's a device that converts rotational motion into linear motion. We'll start by modeling our wheel, and then our slider, then we'll create an assembly and do a quick animation. So here we're going to make our wheel, and we will start by opening up a new sketch on the front plane, and we're going to create a center point circle centered at the origin, and we will give that circle a diameter of 3 inches. And close out our sketch, and do an extruded boss base. We'll set it to mid-plane, and set the distance to be 0.25 inches, and hit OK. Okay. Right, now we have to do our two extruded bosses, one on the front face and one on the back face. We'll do the one on the front face first. So we'll click that face and select sketch. And we're going to do another center point circle. This time we're going to be lined up with the x-axis. And we'll set the circle's diameter to be 0 0.50 inches, and the distance between the circle center point and the origin is going to be 1 inch. Now we're still not fully defined here, we can still rotate the circle. So what we're going to do is select the center point and the center point of the origin and create a horizontal relationship. Now our sketch is fully defined, so we'll exit our sketch, create a new extruded boss base, set it to blind, and set the distance to be 0.75 inches. 0.75 inches. And we'll do the same thing on the back. We'll create a new sketch. And we're going to create another center point circle. Like so. And we'll set the diameter to be 0.5 inches. Exit our sketch. Do a new extruded ball space. Again, keeping the distance set to 0.75 inches, and we'll hit OK. The last thing I'm going to do is add some chamfers. So we'll add a 0.05 inch 45 degree chamfer, and we're going to select the end faces of our two pegs and the end faces of the disc, the corners of the disc. And hit OK. Alright. And we'll change our material to be plain carbon steel. Alright. And we've successfully made our wheel. Now that we've made our wheel, let's make our slider. We'll start by opening up a new sketch on the front plane, and we're going to create a center point cylinder going vertically, like so, and we'll set the cylinder length to be 2.50 inches 
and the width to be 0.5 inches. Okay, so now we want to do an offset. So we'll select our so we'll select our slot and we'll set the offset distance to be 0.25 and hit OK and exit our sketch and we're going to do an extruded boss base and we'll set the direction to be midplane and we'll set the distance to be 0.5 and we'll hit OK. Alright, now we just have to make our two arms. This is really easy. So we're going to select our side face and go to sketch and do a center point rectangle and just connect with the face of the model and we're just going to set the horizontal and vertical lines to be equal. So now we have a 0.5 by 0.5 rectangle. And we'll exit our sketch and do an extrude boss base. We're going to change our direction to be blind from midplane. And we're going to set the length to be 5 inches and hit OK. And we need to mirror the arm onto the other side. So what we're going to do is hit the mirror command and for the mirror face or plane we're going to expand our feature tree and select the right plane. Hit OK. All right. And the last thing we're going to do is add some fillets in these little corners here. So we'll select this first corner. And we have a bunch of options here for different features that SolidWorks is going to guess that we want to use. And we're going to select this one here for all concave corners, which is these four corners here. And we'll set our radius to be 0.25 and hit OK. And our yoke is now complete. We can now create our assembly. So we'll start by opening up a new assembly file. And we're going to insert our wheel first. And we'll open. And place our wheel in. And by default, the wheel fixes in place. So we want to set that to float. So now we can move it all around, but we need to lock it into a position so we can spin it. So what we're going to do is select Mate, select this center cylinder in the back, and select the origin, and we're going to create a concentric mate, and hit OK, and then we're going to select the back face, and the front plane and create a coincident mate and hit OK. So now we can spin the wheel but it stays in one general position within the assembly. Now that our wheel is in we'll insert our slider. So we'll go to insert components, select our slider, hit open, and just plop that down in space. And we're going to add three mates to the slider. First we're going to set the top plane to be uh, coincident to the top plane of the assembly. Then we're going to set the back face of the slider to be coincident to the front face of the wheel. And the last thing we need to do is create a slot mate between the uh, pin here and the uh, slot. 
So we'll go to our Mechanical Mates tab, select Slot, select the slot face and the pin, and it automatically lines them up. We want to make sure the constraint is set to free, and we do not want to lock rotation. And we'll hit OK. So now, as we click and spin the wheel, we see that the slider moves with it, like so. And we can even create a little animation here. So we'll go to Motion Study, select Animation, and we're going to add a motor, and we'll select this back axis here. Hold on, I'm still in mates, so we'll X out of that. Select motor. And select this back axis. And hit OK. But we're going to set that to 10 RPMs instead of 100. RPM is rotation per minute. And we'll set the length to be 6 seconds by dragging this key here. And it should make a full rotation. Now it's defaulting to this orientation, which we don't want. We want a nice ISO zoom in a little bit. So we're going to reset this key and now we have our nice animation. That concludes this tutorial on creating a scotch yoke mechanism. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see me uh, do more interesting mechanical systems, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and leave a comment on what you want me to do a video of in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day.